What is going on, lunatics? If you don't stick around today till the end of this video, you're going to miss out on something special. So uh, I've got a new project lined up for you that we're going to talk about. It's going to launch either later today or in the morning. I'm going to show you the website. I'm going to show you what you need to know in order for you to get involved in this new project. And fantastic. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm going to use a bunch of hyperboles for that because, you know, uh, the, these are very interesting times, especially for the Luna Classic community. And let's see how it breaks out. Now, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. Let's work our way through this entire ecosystem. We're going to start off with news. Uh, the news so far, a little bit weird today. You can see, and I just, guys, I'm, I don't really have anything special for you in relation to um, the, 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 the news, if you will, other than you're being manipulated. And I, and I want to show you why. Um, Terra Classic rejects core team proposal. Lunk plummets. Uh, Lunk plummeted uh, because of the broader market, not because of this rejection. So uh, I am a maxi. I do think that we should have a team when it comes to this. I understand. Uh, I, I understand the centralization versus decentralization, but I do want to say one thing. Let me get on my pulpit for just one second here for you guys. Uh, everybody is with all nodes. All nodes is one of the most centralized things that you could possibly have. And everybody who is a validator or almost everybody who is a validator simply rents their uh, validator from all nodes because those are the ones with the servers. So that's about as centralized as it gets. So when these guys are arguing about decentralization, it's disingenuous in my opinion. I don't know how you feel about it uh, because all nodes through Binance, et cetera, et cetera. And we like Binance and I don't dislike Binance, but I'm just saying that doesn't change that that's an incredibly centralized thing that we're pretending is decentralized at this point. So uh, when they get on their soapbox and they tell you about decentralization, I'm not really sure that we're as decentralized as one would hope. And maybe we'll get there. We're just not there yet. Uh, anyway, so the next one up is a Terra Classic team just rejects the, the paid dev team proposal. And I do have to remind you, delegators voted yes validators vote, voted no. When that happens, that is upon you, the delegator, and that, that means you. You invested, you have a vote, you have a say. Uh, if your validators are not voting the way that you want, change your validator to the person that votes the way you want. Yesterday, I was in favor of this proposal, and some people were not. Again, I pointed out the reason, decentralization, for a lot of those people, I, and I, and I, you know, there are bad actors in here. Not everybody's a bad actor. Some people just don't want to do things a certain way. Um, if you remember Luna Classic Labs, I'm on Team Luna Classic Labs almost all the time. I so uh, we seem to agree on quite a bit. Happy Caddy Crypto, we seem to agree on a lot of different things, but not all the time. And it's okay to have disagreements and want something different for different things. So, you know, just bear that in mind. Not everybody is a bad actor. You will see the bad actors. They'll have like two validators and they'll be using it to influence votes, et cetera. So, uh, you know, we'll see how this goes. And also, I do want to point out, you know, I'm not really sure. Um, I, I, I told you guys a long time ago, a lot of people got mad at me because I, because I said CZ Binance is not a good actor in uh, crypto. He's done a lot of uh, he, he's good for crypto, but he's he's a bad actor. And whatever the U.S. SEC said he did, oh, he did. And it turns out I was right the the, the entire time. And uh, I, I think he's going to jail. You know what I mean? So um, I, 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 I don't know what to tell. I don't know what to say otherwise. So let me move on here and let me speed this through here. Uh, my, my point to it all was uh, just because it's Binance doesn't mean that they're a good actor through all nodes or anything like that. So anyway. Um, now the, the install thing, whatever that was is gone now. So, uh, we're back to it. So, uh, fixed gas fee for dApps and then a layer one security solution with relaxed KYC. Um, there's a lot of different things that are being talked about right now and 10 X gas fees. Uh, I did have somebody ask me a question about that. We'll talk about that in just a second too. Uh, as far as station goes, there are proposals up. <clears throat> one of those is to 10 X the gas fee. Now I, I don't have a problem with this because, you know, if you just consider, if you just consider that it's 3.74 lunk for a, a transaction, which right now is um, 38 thousandths of a cent, there's no money coming in, if you will. So to get it up to uh, two zeros, uh, so that would be uh, three hundredths, um, three hundredths of a penny. So that's a lot more robust and, and allows the community pool to fill. So I would suggest that you vote yes on this. I can't tell you what to do. I'm going to vote yes. I'm going to use my power uh, to, to, to vote yes on this because to me, this just seems like uh, a, a very 
uh, a very solid idea. Again, it's just my opinion that we're going to do that. And of course, we're going to use Lunk to pay for it. Uh, so uh, we're done. So we've made our, we, we've made our, um, there we go. So we just broadcasted our yes vote. Uh, you guys do whatever you want to do. I just, I think that, yeah, it should be a little bit more, again, less than a penny, less than a hundredth of a penny for a transaction. So, I mean, you know, what, what are we doing? You know what I mean? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> three tenths of a penny, I'm sorry. Uh, it would be three tenths of a penny to make a transaction on this network should this go through. So uh, I, I'm, I'm not unopposed to that at all. Uh, minimum commission, 2.5%. These are the things that really have got to happen here. Remember, uh, you're being manipulated by some of these validators and they're using their power and their stroke and their ability to spend money Money provided allegedly, let's go back to this, allegedly in the bankruptcy filing by Terraform Labs through the Moon Rabbit Validator and then dispersed amongst the bad actors who want to stifle the production on Luna Classic. So a minimum commission so that they can't do it for free and just control what's going on uh, would be an incredible thing here. Uh, also, uh, there's a proposal to decrease the maximum block size and um, change the reward share distribution of the burn tax. So I want you to read through, please, and go check these proposals. Decide what's best for you. Now let's pop into the price action. We're going to do this pretty quickly. Uh, there's not much to see. Not much to say. All right, so guys, nothing's fundamentally changed. Uh, when I gave you the the prediction here that we're probably going to have like a, a little rip up here, uh, we did get into that golden ratio. We came back down, but we got a green candle that we're working on for the day. Uh, where the day before the halving looks like we're going to maybe do some sideways. Now, when I did this here, that seems a little bit aggressive in hindsight. Um, what I think is we're probably going to play out a little bit longer here, uh, but, you know, we'll get back into this golden ratio right here and then have a breakout above that. There's a lot of proposals. You notice there's a lot of proposals, a lot of stuff happening all of a sudden. I feel people, I, people reaching out to me. I'm telling you right now, I'm starting to get promo questions, stuff like that. So there's a lot going on in the backgrounds that we haven't seen. Now, you haven't seen this before unless you watch my live stream, but I do want to point out right here in the middle of this window here, you see Lunk right there. And uh, I want to point that this means weak. There's two. There's two different categories here, are that are buy zones. Okay, there's oversold, which immediately, if you see Luna Classic come down into this oversold region right here, it's a huge buy signal for you. Okay, uh, and that's just this is reading the RSI. Uh, and then there's one here called weak, which means that the average RSI is 35. Uh, the Luna Classic is just right below the. Uh, that, that RSI right now sitting at 33.54 right now um, and, and continuing to come down. So this could be a great buy opportunity. Now in a larger time frame, then you'll notice here that there's a lot of weakness uh, in the in the broader market here. Luna Classic, not as robust when you break it down right here. Um, it, it's not as robust in coming down into that range. So uh, not as excited um, uh, at, at a buy on a longer term. But if you're looking for a flip, it's coming down in the one hour. So I would be looking at that. Also, uh, when you look at this, we were up a little bit on, on the volume, but the volume was billions not that long ago, and now it's 27 million. So uh, retail, definitely on the sidelines for the moment. Also with USTC, it's up 24. So there's a little bit of enthusiasm, a little bit working, and I'm not sure what's going on right now. Uh, could be just a, a little bit of selling, stuff like that. So, I, you know what I mean? I, I, I have no idea here, but uh, we'll see, you know, exactly what happens. Now, Long Dash tells me where everybody's voting. I implore you again, go look, decide if these people are voting the way you want. If they aren't, get rid of them. Um, go validate, use whatever validator does what you want. Uh, Long Burns, 573 million last couple of days. Um, you know, nothing's fundamentally changed over here. So now it's time. I'm going to go full screen for this, but I'm going to give you a little preamble intro video, and then we're going to... Uh, pop up this new project, and I hope you like it. Uh, the project's called Miata.
All right, so now I introduce to you Miata, and this is part of the Elbun project, and this is Miata.io. Now, this right here is a uh, it's an NFT collection here. Look at this. You can go through Lions of Lunk. Um, I kind of throw them away. Let me refresh that screen. Lunk Guardians, move them to the side. Classic Moon, Lunk Penguins, Lunk Ape Crews, Cricket Legends, and you can just click on them as you want to and see each and every one of uh, these projects. Um, but launching today is going to be this Miata uh, program. And the idea behind it, if I can give you just a little bit of a breakdown here, um, is that the Elbin Project, of course, has its own base token, which we talked about a couple days ago. Uh, can be mined with hardware. However, the hardware mining, that's not for everybody, uh, it requires tech skill, you know, savvy and, and setting up a miner, right? Um, but these NFTs that are launching are going to be virtual NFT miners. So what they're going to do is um, owning a miner is going to put you in this pool of miners. Every hour, uh, one miner finds and wins base tokens. Uh, so 24 winners per day, 365 days a year. Each miner runs for uh, exactly a year to participate. You only need to have the NFT rewards are going to be set automatically to your wallet. There's no hardware. There's no action. There's nothing that you need to do. Um, there are different classes of miners, higher end miners give greater rewards. The new collections uh, are, are, are both in the high end. So you're going to be able to get base rewards, which base tokens are going to become very important uh, later on. You're going to want to have them uh, if you're going to the, hold them for value to increase as projects increase and as capital comes into the market as it builds up. Or uh, if you want to use it to convert over to Luna Cloud. Researching crypto is so important. Guys, go to cryptonomy.finance slash research today and learn more about AI, DAOs, DeFi, gaming, layer one or layer two, uh, memes, gaming, NFTs, Web3, whatever you need to know, exploring meme coin trends, all the information is available to you. Now make sure you sign up as a VIP or a pro member. Look at my fixed deposits, guys. You can see right now, I just put in another three ETH that I'm holding until April 5 of 2025. Let me show you the details here. So at the end of this, my scheduled interest is going to be 3.23 Ethereum. So I'm running three Ethereum for letting them hold on to it for one year as a staking process. I anticipate a fantastic payout from this. But guys, the big money is made over here on the launch pool. Make sure that you're checking it out. I'm a bronze member. Remember, I put in about 0.48 Bitcoin with an expected rate of return of 1 to 5x. I'm taking a risk here. If I only get a 1x, I, you know, I think I'll still be fine. But uh, as you can see right now, I've already accumulated 83,691 USDT for my efforts so far. How much Bitcoin is that? It's quite a bit. Go to cryptonomy.finance today and earn for yourself. Classic. So, you know, you have a lot of different options here, but it's up to you, the investor, to come check out this project. Now, it's going to be located at Miata.io. And if you're interested, certainly go check that out today. And if you're interested, go check out Weeks. Weeks is definitely the place to go if you want to do some trading right now, because that helps tremendously with the burn process. And the more people get away from MEXE and onto Weeks, the better off we're going to be for burning tokens. Also, Terra Casino is also doing a lot of burning. So all you have to do is, is go there and you use your lunk. You don't have to, you know, uh, all you have to do is, is go there with some lunk and earn yourself some rewards. Uh, it be a fantastic opportunity for you. And again, as we explore this ecosystem, you're going to find different things. Some of them you're going to resonate with, some of them you're not. Uh, but if you want to have a little bit of risk, uh, go to Terra Casino, try it out today. And all of this, by the way, I do want to point out uh, because it can't be done the way I'm doing it right now without the aid of Terraport.finance. So if you haven't already, consider uh, using Terraport.finance for your trading and get in there today and start trading some crypto. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right.